The longest running pseudo horror kids TV show, Hilarious House of Frightenstein, is celebrating 50 years today. Co producer and co star Mitch Markowitz, AKA Super Hippie, joins us on Morning Live. Good morning, Mitch. Good morning, Bob, and a special good morning and happy anniversary to the Genesco family. Yes. Don and his wife. That's right, yeah. Uh, we said off the top, pseudo horror kids TV show. I'm not even sure if that's a genre. If it was, you started it. Do you remember <laughs> your first day, first day on set with this show? Uh, yes, I do, clearly. But the first day, obviously, the first day on the air at CH was not the first day for us. We had already right. been. How long did it take? It was about nine months to bang it all off? Well, that's a nice way to put it. Bang it off. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a TV term, Mitch. <laughs> day of conception, if you will, until the day of delivery. Right, yeah. So it was conceived on this date on CHCH TV and Is that has. Your in your cheek, Bob? What's that? Is that your tongue in your cheek? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it launched on this date on CHCH TV, but of course, wow, it has found legs and it's a big hit in the US as well. And boy, there's a lot of famous names that grew up watching CHCH that say they were influenced by this show. Jim Carrey, Mike Myers, Alice Cooper, actually, when he was recording all of his hits in the 70s, he did them at Nimbus 9 in Toronto and during breaks would be watching CHCH TV. Love the show. That's absolutely true, a big fan. We chatted the last time we were together at some show where Fan Expo, I think it was, and he was going on and on and on about that show. It's his all-time favorite TV show. And add Russell Peters to your list, by the way, and John Candy and the rest of the SCTV group. And it, the list goes on and on and on. How yeah. much time do we have? <laughs> oh, well, I wish we had tons of time because there's tons to talk about. I didn't know KTLA ran House of Frankenstein opposite Johnny Carson in Los Angeles. So again, inspiring more comics, more fans. What is it that resonates with the show 50 years later? Oh boy, I resonate, I'm shaking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, what resonates is the fact that it was all an accident, it was all, a, it was all like a mistake. We thought we were doing this little crazy TV show for Hamilton and it just didn't work out that way. It got syndicated across Canada, then it got into the U.S. and syndicated it. most of the major markets in the U.S. and then a little in, at one point in Norway and in Spain. It just it evolved on its own. We didn't plan on it being this iconic thing that would be around for the rest of our lives. Well, part of that lightning in the bottle is the man we're looking at um, in s several characters, Billy Van, the wolf man, the librarian, the count, you name it. Now, he, didn't, he wasn't Igor. You, as Super Hippie and Igor, were one of two characters that weren't Billy Van. <laughs> and the mini count, the mini count. Yeah, and there's Vincent Price, who anchored the whole thing, the Hollywood legend. Yeah, without, without Vincent, I don't think the show would have had the, as you put it, the legs that it did end up having. I mean, the cachet of having arguably the largest and most famous horror star in the world to lead your show through the darkness, it, it, it really, really, really gave us a leg up there. Now, Billy Van took that leg and made it into a whole body, actually nine different bodies. Yes. It was a, a comedy tour de force. I wondered about Joe Flaherty when you talk about influences. Um, Count Floyd, ooh, scary. He must have been influenced by uh, the Count on uh, gee, House of Frankenstein. Gee, I think so, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just maybe. You know, so again, <laughs> countless influences. Um, it's continuing today, too, because uh, there's a, new fans are being created here as it's being uh, reissued and delivered in, in many different ways. Yes, as a matter of fact, is that supposed to be an opening for me to segue? Yes, it there? is. Shameless plugs, Mitch. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I have a very special announcement to make today that um, I'm, I'm on black, Rob, on the screen. Can That's I... okay. We can see you and we can hear you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Did you think it was a blackout, Mitch? <laughs> my, my announcement is that today is the world premiere launch of Happy House of Frankenstein. Some time ago now, I licensed Head Spinner Productions, a Canadian-based production company, and with, with about, I don't know, 100 years experience between the three of the principals to do a, uh, a kid's version. For, you know, sort of thought, there you go, it's on yeah. the screen. 
that's the happy house of Frankenstein world launch today and by the way what that does for us and as soon as that little clip is finished I'll, I'll reveal what it actually does for us okay big uh, reveal yeah so what it does is it takes Frankenstein the name Frankenstein and it makes it just a second here <laughs> world famous <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to quit now before anything else comes off. But, <laughs> but in the seconds we have left, uh, there's also a, a Blu-ray uh, remastering of a, a number of the 130 episodes. Yes, now that's going to be a, a bigger project right. because they're taking it from the, the, the quality that we had left 50 right. years after we shot it and doing all kinds of wonderful things. They're trying to clear, not trying, they're clearing more music. So more yes, that's an issue. Yeah. 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 There's so a lot of slime, the family stone hits on the show. Well, that's an excuse for you to come back, Mitch. I wish we had more time. But happy anniversary, that historic date, this date, 50 years ago, the launch of Hilarious House of Frankenstein. Right here on CACH. An absolute broadcaster coming up, looking to launch across Canada for Halloween. So that'll be um, uh, the the initial launch today yep. on the Marble Media Kids YouTube channel. That's today. Yep. Two episodes. Okay, and we'll link it all up at chch.com so people can explore oh, it. Thanks. And, uh, thanks, man. Much yeah. appreciated. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Super Hippie.